Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Connections and Directions, our University of Michigan Civil and Environmental Engineering podcast. My name is Michelle Santillian, and I am the CEE Marketing Communications Specialist and host of this series. During our podcasts, we are featuring members of our CEE community and how their work reflects our mission of engineers in service to society. We will be highlighting our strategic directions and our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. CEE's five strategic directions are human habitat experience, shaping resource flows, adaptation, automation, and smart infrastructure finance. I'm here with Jenna Kutcher, who's a second year undergrad environmental engineering student. Welcome, Jenna. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How do you see yourself participating in CEE's strategic directions? To be honest, I would love to be a member of any of the teams on the projects because they're really all trying to make a difference to create a better world for future generations. I loved how the human uh, habitat experience was trying to use the public's feedback as an integral part of the designing process. I really think that creating environmentally conscious infrastructure can create a habitat for humans that is cohesive with nature, and I think that that's huge in today's current society. I also really liked how shaping research flows, and I'm really interested in the way that um, engineers in service to society wanted to rebalance the flow, because I think that it needs to be much more evenly distributed across communities, and I am inspired by the fact that they are also noticing that and that they're taking steps towards that. And how does our mission of engineers in service to society resonate with you? What does it mean to you? And how do you see yourself possibly becoming an engineer making a difference? Yeah, so my dream for the future has always been, like ever since I started college, to try and have the human race have a symbiotic relationship with nature that is catered to each specific environment and location that people are living in, the ecosystems that are present there. And it was really inspiring to see that engineers for um, in service to society are taking steps to do that and uh, working towards that same goal because I really think it can only be accomplished through union of people, cooperation across the board and, and collaboration between all of the billions of people that we have here on this planet. And I don't think that we can really achieve that unless we're all working together. And I like that engineers and uh, service to society is working towards that. And you mentioned when you started college, what inspired you to get involved in environmental engineering to start with? I, I really love I've been an outdoorsy person my entire life. I really love being outside. And when I was younger, I really started to get involved in engineering in, in high school and just like tech classes and working with my hands and calculus. And the idea of environmental engineering, of, of spending my days working towards making a co more cohesive planet just really resonated with me and really sounded like a good idea. And I kind of ran with it and never turned back. That's wonderful. How has participating in the Pelham Scholars Program as an undergraduate enhanced your student experience? Um, and related to that, is that one of the ways that you see DEI incorporated in the department? Yeah, so definitely it's one of the ways I see DEI incorporated. Um, but additionally, like I think the Pelham Scholars Program has really provided a safe place to share ideas about how to create a more welcoming environment at the University of Michigan, alongside a lot of people that have become my really close friends, which is amazing because it provides that, that community and that opportunity to meet people with a like-minded mindset. And... Um, I really like the opportunities it provides for students to further their education in the world and allows people to expand their perspective on society, which is really important as you bring a lot of people from different backgrounds together. And so I think that's definitely a way that DEI is incorporated into the department because I think DE, like the CE department as a whole is really pushing students to have a mindset that all ideas are valued and welcome because being able to see the world from multiple perspectives makes us more intelligent people. It makes us able to make better decisions. And being able to play the devil's advocate 
and being open when things are unclear or don't make sense is really good because that's how solutions are created. That's how engineers work, is they find problems and then they really work through them and think through them, but they have to think about who it's affecting and how their solutions are going to affect the world. And so I think that that's huge that the CE department is really pushing that type of mindset. And how did you get involved with the Pelham Scholars Program? I uh, was in a class with, I had a couple of close friends in that class, and what happened was my teacher presented this program as an opportunity that we could apply for. And it was really funny because all of my, like, um, closer friends from previous classes were all interested in it. And so we made the decision together that we wanted to be a part of this. We really liked the initiative of it. We really liked everything that it was like standing for and working towards. And so we all applied and most of us actually got in, which we were really excited about. And it's been just kind of a lot of fun ever since. And how did you choose the University of Michigan for CEE, you know, going back to when you were applying out of high school? Um, what was it about our department that set it apart for you? Yeah, so as soon as I chose to be an environmental engineer, I immediately began researching programs and ended up finding the perfect one through UMich. I thought it was going to be a hard decision planning where I wanted to spend the next four years of my life, but... The more that I learned about this community and this program, the easier my decision became. It has, you know, it's a highly ranked public university. It has a great engineering program. It's within, you know, my home state and is allowing me to be able to see my family and create a balance between my studies and my home life, which I really loved. You know, that's really important to me. And so it's just had a lot of great things about it and it also has a lot of passionate people and I admired that and that was something that really drew me in. And what would you say to prospective students who are considering applying here or considering if they've already been accepted whether to make a decision to come here? If they want to make strong connections, if they want to be a part of an inclusive community and have an ambitious attitude and strive for success, this is the university for them. It's not easy, but it's worth it, and I wouldn't trade my experiences here for anything else. Do you have a pearl of wisdom from your experience in CEE that you'd be willing to share with prospective students? I don't know how wise I am yet, but if I could tell my younger self some sort of bit of advice, um, I think I would say that Opportunities are everywhere, but it's your responsibility to look for them and to seek them out. And I think don't be afraid to start conversations because new friends or study buddies or mentors are only one conversation away. And I don't know where I would be without all the friendships that I made just by asking if I could sit next to someone on the first day of class and striking up conversations. I mean, it's really just pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and don't be afraid of that. And speaking of, you know, not speaking of taking chances and looking for opportunities, um, have you had the chance to secure any internships or additional research experiences, for example? Yes. So I am studying with the SURE research program this summer. So it's the Student Undergraduate Research of Engineering program. And I'm really excited. I'm a part of a project with different professors from the university and we're working to do environmental studies on microbiomes and microbial processes through food waste and, and um, sewage sludge which doesn't sound all that exciting when you say it like that but I think that working and studying and researching all of these different forms of waste that we're just throwing away and trying to find ways to repurpose them is a really integral part about working towards a better future and working towards using what we don't use now to create more renewable resources. That sounds like a wonderful opportunity and it should be an exciting summer for you. Yeah, I'm very excited. Is there anything that you would like to add? One thing I'd like to add is 
that for anyone who is thinking to come here and, and for students just in general to remember that life is about making small acts of kindness turn into a habit. And as an environmental engineer, I try and like preach this a little bit about just being more thoughtful throughout your life and making more thoughtful, conscious decisions because you and the people around you will be better off for it and future generations will be better off for it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. Thank you for having me again. Thank you for listening to our podcast conversation. For more information about CEE at Michigan, please visit our website at cee.umich.edu. You can also reach our YouTube channel and Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn pages from our website.